What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command with another FAFO file. Ah, gentlemen, as of late, I've taken on a new guilty pleasure. Now, what would that guilty pleasure be? Watching police body cams of women getting arrested. Oh yeah, from young women to old women, from Asian women to white women, women across the board when the boys in blue show up and actually do their damn job. Oh, the freak outs, the sometimes actual punching of the cops and them getting taken down. I've seen women getting tased. Oh, I find it absolutely hilarious. Why? Because we continue to live in a society that treats women with kid gloves all the damn time. However, there are certain situations in which men take off the gloves. Like the man in this article that was published on the 9th of June. Millionaire investment banker slugs a woman on a New York City street during Brooklyn Pride. Shocking video shows. Yes, gentlemen, there is a video with this article. And... As usual, the comment section is extremely giving. A multimillionaire investment banker allegedly slugged a woman in her face, sending her crashing down onto a Brooklyn street Saturday night. Gentlemen, you see all these videos of women around the internet talking about, oh yeah, I slap men, I swing on men, I will fight a man, blah, 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 blah. How they're willing to get physical with a man. However, we all know just how deluded these women truly are. Why? Because us men constantly restrain ourselves when it comes to women. Now, of course, you have one camp that says, well, men should never put their hands on a woman no matter what, blah, 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 blah. Me, I'm in the other camp, the camp of true equality, equal rights, equal lefts. Ladies, if you put your hands on a man, guess what? Expect to get knocked out like a man would. A disturbing video shows the man violently delivering an overhand right punch to the woman's face in front of a crowd of party goers enjoying Brooklyn Pride in Park Slope. The woman covers her injured face and crumpled to the ground, just feet away from a second person, presumably injured, who is also lying on the pavement. Yeah, gentlemen, yeah. He hit her and she went down like a sack of potatoes. Once again, ladies, do not think you can step up to a grown ass man and think that he's automatically going to restrain himself when you do something to him. That environment no longer exists. I wonder, did she call a bear? to help her out? Hmm. Well, I guess there were no bears in NYC that day. <laughs> yeah, I know. I ain't shit. Social media users identified the assailant in the video, which has racked up nearly 5 million views, as Jonathan K, a managing director who leads the business services finances of Moellis and Company. Quote, unquote, we have become aware 
that one of our employees was involved in a serious incident in Brooklyn on June 8th. We take this matter very seriously and are conducting an investigation, a spokesperson for the New York-based investment bank told The Post. The company would not confirm whether the employee was K or whether he was facing any disciplinary action. K declined to comment when reached by the post. Smart move. And the NYPD didn't have any information on the shocking assault. The video doesn't show the moments that led up to the brutal smackdown, but shows the flustered looking assailant walking away while wearing a jacket streaked with liquid down the back following the alleged attack. That right there, gentlemen, is definitely the key. You don't see what led up to it. However, however, he says the following, quote, unquote, she fucking threw shit all over me. The man believed to be K can be heard saying as onlookers called the attacker a quote unquote asshole and a horrible person. Once again, the court of public opinion automatically taking her side as the victim. My question is, how do you know he wasn't the victim? Because like I said, when you see his back, there is something that was splashed on him. The brute reportedly broke the woman's nose and quote unquote, busted up another person's arm according to the text written over the clip. Kay has overseen the global business service fi franchise at Moella's and Company since 2013, according to the company. He previously worked at Citibank as the managing director of its global mergers and acquisition group. The alleged attacker lives in a ritzy park slope, four bedroom townhouse valued at over $4 million. What does this have to do with anything? But that's neither here nor there. The lavish home is just three blocks from Ginger's Bar, one of the last remaining lesbian bars in Brooklyn. Once again, what does this have to do with anything? The assault occurred as thousands flooded to Park Slope on Saturday in celebration of the 28th annual Brooklyn Pride Multicultural Festival, a day-long event that started with a 5K and ended with a parade along Fifth Avenue. I'm gonna give this a FAFO score of nine since it is widely available and everybody on social media can see this. Now, let's go back to where I'm gonna, you know, throw my opinion out. Here's my opinion. More than likely, this woman and the other person were probably out, drunk, acting a damn fool. This guy was more than likely just trying to go home. Some sort of verbal altercation might have happened. And as he was walking away, more than likely, she threw a drink on him. Now, am I going to excuse the man's behavior? No. However, as you guys know, I'm firmly in reality. Men, especially nowadays, are under so much fucking pressure. Any little thing can set anybody off. Now, that guy's jacket might have been very expensive. We don't know that. However, we do know that women have no problems introducing projectiles into the fray. We know this, we've seen this, and some of us more than likely have experienced this with women. Women have no problems throwing drinks, 
shoes, or anything like that at a man that they're pissed off at. So more than likely, he was hit from behind, and that set him off. And yeah, yep, it is what it is. This woman decided to talk shit, more than likely, throw a drink on him, and he retaliated. Hey, once again, ladies, it is what it is. Keep your mouth shut. If you got a problem, learn to de-escalate situations. But unfortunately, the Western modern woman has never been trained to de-escalate. And where does that problem stem from? That's right. Their own father. If they had one in the home. Daddy's little princess grew up to be society's big menace. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 Far too many women were never told no in life, let alone never actually spanked in life. But hey, it is what it is, ladies. Society is going to take care of you. And I find it absolutely hilarious when it does. <laughs> well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think set this guy off to where he decided to go rock em, sock em robots on this woman and her friend? And yeah, once again, when you watch the video, she crumples like a sack of potatoes when he lays the smack down on her. Women, keep believing that you can fight grown-ass men in the streets. Okay, cool. Keep believing that. Keep letting society continue to pump your head up, believing that you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a grown-ass man in the streets. Ladies, the rules go out of the damn window. But understand this, ladies, and understand it quickly. The power society allows you to believe that you wield and you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against a grown-ass man, that is going out. Feminism and the idea that a man is going to let you impose your will onto him without repercussions, that's going out right along with it. Because trust and believe, ladies, more and more men are breaking those chains of restraint. And guess what? You run across the right man on the wrong day, whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am